Good evening everyone, this is Lisa. This video was covered in the blood of Jesus. Yes everyone, this is a message for those who have not received God in their hearts to open up your hearts to get to know Him. If you're tired of this, this, your life being meaningless God says, come all who are weak and heavy, heavy laden, and I shall give you rest. This is an invitation. God said, go out and to make disciples of many, to go out like the evangelists and evangelize. See, many are called but few are chosen. If you're someone who say, it's more to life than this. If you're just going through the mundane every day, same old, same old, and you know that you want more spiritually in your, in your life, you want your mind to be set free, you want your heart to be set free, give your life to the Lord who is worthy to save and heal. He is Yahweh. He's a forgiver. He's forgive us out from our iniquities. He's that ram in the thicket for us. He paid that price so that we may be saved, everyone. If you're someone who is brokenhearted, downtrodden, you just don't know how you're going to make it in this life. You're looking for some, something else. You're tired of being on the merry-go-round. You try, you're tired of running the rabbit race. Get off that hamster trail. God is calling you to Him. He says to seek Him while they, He may be found. He loves us so much. He forgives us. And He has salvation for all. The young, the old, the rich, the poor, the Jew, the Greek. Everyone is called for salvation. So when you lean on Him, you give it over to Him. Every problem, every situation, you're not alone. He is near to the brokenhearted. He gives you a new spirit. He gives you new life. He gives you joy beyond understanding. He gives you a meek heart, a changed heart, a changed mind. He gives you newness. He gives you space to love, a new heart, a change, everybody, in your body, in your mind, to be of sound mind and peace. He say, for he know the plans he had for you in Jeremiah 29, 11. He is just. He is our creator. We are his creation. He built us up so that we, we can achieve greatness in him, so that we can be rooted in him. In Colossians 2, 6, 7, Therefore, as you receive Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk with him, rooted and built up in him, established in the faith, just as you were taught abounding in thanksgiving. 1 John 15, 10. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light. See, he said to walk in the light. He removes the darkness from us. So if you weary, heavy laden, burning down, don't know how which way to go, you're tired of living this life like you're living it, he says he will bring you out. He says, behold, I will do a new thing. He want us to trust him. He say, just trust him. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice truth. See, God is the truth. You find truth in him. You find truth in his word. You find peace in him. All right? He says, not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. If you're listening to these words of my mouth, the Holy Spirit is here and near and dear. 
right now on this video. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Pour down like rain, O oh God, the anointing to fall down like rain. To touch your children, O oh God, to be saved, to be changed, to be transformed and not conformed to this world, but renewed by the renewing of, of their minds, O oh God. To be healed, to walk in your light, to come out of selfish ways, contrite minds, bad situations, dirty, deceitful dealings. Let them know you. Let them praise you. Let them reverence you, Father. Come into their hearts. If you want God to come into your life and you want to know what this is, to be in oneness with him, who your Messiah is, who the Father in heaven is, the Son, Father, Son, and one of him, you go into prayer with me right now. If you're someone who wants to be saved and is worried about where your soul is going, if you're not sure of where your soul is going, if you pass today, say this prayer with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe that you, your son rose on that third day. You were sent for the remission of my sins. In you, there's light, there's everlasting light, there's everlasting joy. Forgive me, Lord. Teach me to know your ways, to be mirrored in your plumb line, to seek your holy face. Father, forgive me for my sins and my transgressions. Help me to forgive others. Help me to become more Christ-like. Show me your ways in Jesus' mighty name. Please come into my heart. Remove the stony heart, Father, and give me a heart of flesh. Show me the undesirable things that's within me. Please remove them from me, Father, and help me to repent in Jesus' mighty name. Receive God in your heart. He will cleanse you. He will give you a new smile. He will give you new hope to be in fellowship and oneness with him, to read your word, to be around like-minded people, to continue to walk in faith and light. See, this is a continuous practice to do, to walk in his truth, in his ways. So he wants us to pray continually with tenacity, without ceasing. Okay, he wants us to be obedient. He wants us to be doers of his word. You are not just hearers and ignore the word, but he wants us to apply and meditate on his word day and night and to apply it in our lives. Okay, so if you're someone who say, I'm tired of this rat race, I want the Lord Jesus in my life, I want to know the Father, Son, and one of He, the Holy Spirit, to work in my life. To be transformed through the blood of Jesus. It says, but if we walk in the light and he is in the light, we have fellowship with none other. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. See, when we accept Jesus Christ, we take that walk of faith. That big step to say, I want to know who the Lord is. He cleanses us from all our sins. That's the best thing that you could ever do is give your life to Christ. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. See, he will meet you where you're at. Okay, if you're somebody who say, I'm too dirty, I'm too unclean, okay, I'm doing injustices against him, he forgive the sinner. All right, he came not to condemn the world, but that the world may be saved through him. All right. So he's a God of second chances. He's a forgiving God. He's a just God. He says the just shall live by faith. Okay. So believe that you will receive the things that you're praying for everyone. Okay. If, when you confess, he's faithful to cleanse you. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. All of us who have are sinners who have fallen short of the glory of God, but he cleanses us from our sins. See, and your names get written in Lamb's Book of Life, where he wiped the slate clean. Ephesians 5, 1, 2, Therefore be imitators of God, as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved, and then gave himself up for us, a favorite offering and sacrifice to God. When you accept Christ, 
and you start uh, meditating on this word you become an imitator of his love you walk in the love where you're loving others you're being giving and your heart not begrudgingly okay you're seeking him he says when you seek me with your whole heart there you may be found you will be just giving freely okay and you will just feel different you will feel peace no matter what's going on around you people will look at you and say she looks peaceful he looks peaceful what are you doing differently than what I'm doing he will bring you out of the miry clay he will bring you from the bars okay he will bring you from the clubs he will bring you from alcohol and drugs when you accept God you submit that means submit you have to deny yourself and submit everything when you su submit to God he will change your life and that's with everything with prayer and supplication make your requests made known Effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail of much. To him much is given, much is required. You're never too dirty. You're never too low to accept Christ in your heart. 1 John 2, 1, 6 My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, the Son of God. He is the propitiation for our sins. And not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. See, God is taking on the sin, our sin debts. See, the world is an enmity with him. The world does not know him. He knew him not. Okay? And by this we know that we have come to know him. If we keep his commandments, whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments, is a liar. The truth is not in him, but whoever keeps the word in him, truly the love of God is perfected. By this, we know that we are in him. See, through the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. He has a word in this Bible for every situation we're dealing with, every circumstances. Okay? He teaches how to walk with him, how to abide in his statutes. Him ought to, uh, whoever says he abides in him ought to walk in the same way in which he walked. See, when you accept Christ in your heart, you're walking like Christ like with him. Okay? You're not no longer walking in, like you were when you were in the world. Okay? You want to seek the Lord. But you must submit everything to him. Alright? Submit that drug to him. Submit that, that, that mental illness to him. Submit that diseased body to him. Submit your circumstances, your situations to him. The problems, the addictions to him. Anything you're going through. You're st he's our stronghold. The Lord is our stronghold. That means that he fights for us. And he shows us from our enemies. Okay. He said, I lo, I will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. When he come back, he will receive us unto him. Because one could put a thousand to flight. Two could put ten thousand to flight. There's much much um, power in prayer everybody prayer changes things there's therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus for the Lord the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death for God has done what the law weakened by the flesh could not do by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin he condemned sin in the flesh in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Because God is spirit. That's why he wants us to walk in the spirit, not in the world. Alright? Because he's spirit. And if we Christ's light, we have to walk with him. Not in the world, because the world is darkness. Okay? See, to him much is given, much is required. Galatians 5, 14, 25. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, watch out that you are not consumed by one another. See, that's why God doesn't like us uh, um, bickering and, and having unsolved uh, things going on and bitterness and hatred. He wants to come out of those things. He say, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. See, that's why he, he wants us to not be consumed by wicked things and evil. He wants to come out. Alright. 
and walk with him in the light. But I say walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Okay. See, he takes those fleshy desires from her, from us when we're obedient and we're walking in the light. There's a newness where you will feel like you're grieving the Lord. When you start walking with God, those old things will be passed away. Behold, I shall do a new thing. You will feel fine and you will feel different if you're watching something that it will it won't it won't sit right with you. It will mess with your spirit. Okay? When you start be growing in a relationship with Christ, He will convict your heart of what's wrong. You ask the Lord for discernment and what is and test the spirits of what's of Him. Okay, and be careful who you follow because it's a lot of false prophets. Okay, if people were speaking things that aren't sound doctrine, it's against the word of God. That's a false, false person. Okay, and, and God say to watch out, be watchful for them because a lot of times they have many people that are following them. Okay, and they're speaking the things that's against uh, the Lord. All right. For the desires of the flesh are against the spirit, and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things you want to do. See, we can't make God's covenants and laws be uh, geared to fit our situations in our lives. Because we can't change what God say do. We can't change... Uh, how are we supposed to carry ourselves, our character? He says, be ye holy because I am holy, says the Lord. He says that bad company corrupt your morals. Okay, so most times you have to change who you being around. If somebody is going to bring you back into your old ways, the dog return to his vomit. Okay, but if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. See, we can't make these laws of God fit us in our lifestyle. If you walk it outside of him. These are God's laws. And he will chasten you. If you're living against them. Okay. Uh, he says come all who are weak and heavy laden. And I will give you rest. But God does not want. Us to be living against him. Alright. He wants us to, to be obedient. To, to obey him. Because he, he's a rewarder. Of those that diligently seek him. Okay, everyone, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with his passions and desires. See, because it's important, our souls are important to Christ Jesus. It's important to the Father, Son, and one of Him. Okay, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lamb of God, the Lion of Judah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who rose on that third day. If we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. Habakkuk 3.19, God the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like deers. He makes me tread on my high places to the choir master with string instruments. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is my strength, my source of courage, my invincible army. He has made my feet steady and sure like hinds feet and makes me walk forward with spiritual confidence on my high places of challenge and responsibility. Yes, Jesus, he leads us from temptation. He delivers us from evil. All right, he wants us to forgive others because the Father in heaven forgives us. All right. So that's why no matter what somebody do, he wants us to have a forgiving heart. He wants us to have a giving heart and a forgiving heart. He wants us to love um, 
as he loved the church okay so these these laws and statutes and covenants the old testament is more is as powerful as the new testament when christ came and, and gave up his life on that cross that was the new covenant that we save by grace the faith everybody not of works or ourselves that we must boast but we must reverence him and know that it's done through the spirit of the risen king through the holy spirit okay so we receive when you receive god he transformed you but you must meditate and pray 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 seek his face continuously continuously all right Never stop reading your word. Never stop trusting him. Honor him with prayer, repentance. Make your request known. Submit to him fully and completely. It is then that your life will be changed. See, because when you don't submit completely, you're lukewarm. And he said, if you lukewarm, I spit you out of my mouth. Okay? You even you neither cold nor hot nor hot. Okay. So God talks about his promises. He has promises for us. He is rewarded those who diligently seek him. Ephesians 4 1 6. I therefore prisoner for the Lord. Urge you to, to walk. In a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain a unity of the spirit and bond of peace. See, we have we, when we accept him, we have that bond with Christ. We spirit in oneness with him, with patience and gentleness, having a humble heart, not with arrogance, not with boasting not with pride father may you remove the pride within your children oh god if anything is in us that's unpleasing in your sight may you remove it may we repent and submit to you in jesus christ there is one body and one spirit just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your calling to 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 your call one lord one faith and one baptism one god and father of all who is over all and through all and in all. See, he is our shepherd, we are his sheep. And the sheep follow the shepherd. All right. Sheep are, 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 you know, they're not the smartest animals on earth, okay? But God teaches us how to. He, he, he governs his flock, everyone. And he say, my sheep know my voice. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them and the sheep follow him. As in John 10, 30. For they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him. For they do not know the voice of strangers. So God shows favor to the meek and the humble. He's just to forgive you no matter what it is that you've done. So just accept him in your life. He is healer. He is deliverer. He heals the blind, the sick, the lame, the diseased. He's so worthy to be praised. He loves us. He's our supernatural healer. Sometimes doctors will get reports and they don't know how something has been done. It's because, because the Lord is healer. Okay. He's the amazing grace. It's through his grace that we may be saved. All right. Now the works, everybody. But he wants us to work in our faith. All right, it's impossible to please him when you're in disbelief, when you're not trusting him. 
he want us to have faith okay so I pray that this video touches somebody I'm talking to somebody to come to Christ or come back to Christ if you lukewarm or fallen from him or never knew him he is worthy to be praised everyone he is your deliverer your portion your healer he will make your name great okay he gives you a new identity everybody and you will never be the same ever again so your soul will be in the lamb's book of life you will live through eternity all right so I pray right now that someone receive these words and their lives be changed and be not conformed to this world but be formed by the renewing of your minds through Christ Jesus. He is the power and the living God. He lives. For Christ we live and Christ we die. In Jesus' mighty name. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Someone will be healed. Someone will be blessed. Pay it forward. The blessings of Abraham are on your life. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. God loves you all. I love you all. Be blessed. See you next time. Watch the prayer videos. Pray always. Pray, pray continuously. Prayer changes things, everybody. Bye-bye.